of the day, we are at the Bulwa, where the 150th anniversary of the first public railway has uh, been celebrated along the coast here. The rest of history, we are now conscious of the shipping coming into Port Adelaide for food
as the Nissan Bluebird VVT Take Two Five parked up behind the signal point. Nissan Bluebird VVT Take Two Five, please be good enough to go up there and uh, shift us to give access. Thank you. Grave is one of the people who really thought we ought to do something with this 150th anniversary. In fact, he's probably uh, the third person we can blame for all being here. Anthony Presgrave is very much involved with the National Trust in Goolwa, which is one of the most historic towns not only in South Australia but in the whole country because some of you may know that it's, it, it was written up way back in the 19th century and forevermore as the New Orleans of the South. This is the Mississippi of Australia that's out before us and the idea of a riverboat trade does go back more than 150 years in a sense but today we're celebrating those uh, magnificent days where Billy Prescott, it must be marvellous after all these years of thinking about it to see us all here. Yes, it's been, been a terrific turnout for it even though the weather's not uh, all that flash but I think it's uh, gone extremely well. There's an excellent crowd around wherever you go, even up into the town. Now the paddle steamer industry has really reenacted on the way down that sense of the riverboat trade. What have we got on board? They've picked up uh, fruit from Renmark, I think, wheat from Loxton, and uh, wine from Wakery, somewhere up there like that. I reckon it's Angos wine, and they've uh, been in Renmark since the year dot. Uh, actually, would you believe we were up there with uh, postcards having a look at the Lofton Historical Village last week, and the wheat bags were already ready on the back of the truck, ready to be put on board. We know they're genuine wheat bags winnowed out of a mallee in Renmark. And of course, this is partly what the paddle steamer trade was about, wasn't it? It was opening up not so much the fruit towns that we know of today, but the river mallee, uh, the, the chain to actually get settlements there and to get supplies up and down river. Yes, yes, the fruit came later. It was certainly the uh, wool and later on the wheat that uh, really was the cargo that they were looking for. Oscar W has uh, wool bales on board, by the way, and uh, we're going to, right here on the wharf, we're going to reenact uh, a, an unloading of cargo and then we're going to see it onto a flat uh, rail truck. And tomorrow, it goes across to Port Elliot. So those of you who've wandered in and thought, well, I'll just catch up with it when it happens, which is probably the best way. You're just lining up now for the two o'clock arrival of the paddle steamers. And then uh, in the next half an hour or so, we'll unload the cargo and get it ready for the big reenactment of the passage across by train to Port Elliot on Sunday morning. But Anthony, if we have a look at the railway itself, that's what we're really celebrating, the 150th anniversary of Australia's first public railway. Well, yes, we did have a, we did have a river trade, but the railway was actually built before the river trade started, and it was put there in anticipation of what was going to happen. We're going to have to uh, appoint a couple of... Uh, now, who saw Kate last night on the statewide? Anybody see the show? Yeah, go on, you're linked. Thanks, Stuart. And if you, if you missed it, I, I think you missed it again today, the replay today, but it was a lovely piece. Now, you was you were sitting at the time on a, on a very historic piece of gear. It was, yeah, the first day. That carriage is wonderful. It's out again, out of the good shed today. Are you in on the secret as to how it's, where it's going to be in the future? No, I don't know. Three cheers for the paddle steamer industry! Pivot! 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 And we'll do it for Oscar W, don't you worry about that. What a magnificent sight. That's the paddle steamer industry at full steam. He's come all the way down from Redmark in the last two weeks. And it is a beautiful thing. Congratulations to the, the people in Redmark who kicked at that. And if, by the way, you're ever there, then they'd love to take it on the river. In fact, this afternoon between 3 and 5, you can go on the river with the paddle steamer industry. She'll be taking trips just out and around Goolwa here, so you can get to ride on one of the great riverboats of the era. And here comes the Oscar W, folks. He comes. The Oscar W, of course, home port of Goolwa, and she's back having gone out to greet the industry. Three cheers for the Oscar W! Riverboat here 
era, built early in the 20th century, and now in a marvellous nick again, thanks to the people of Norwood who volunteer in the Oscar W. And we'll talk to some of the people who are involved in that, because as usual, they always need a bit more money. At this stage, they're working on the whole. But uh, it's been fine working. Now, when we, today we haven't got too much wind and we haven't got the waters, you know, not a bad height and so on. Could you imagine this happening on a daily basis at Goorwa 150 years ago? The railway was finished and the paddle steamer trade was in its infancy. And this is the tricky part. <laughs> it's, this is where a captain really earned his money. As he, he's got it into reverse already, the paddle steamers have gone into reverse, and the next line is just about to be chucked. Stand by folks, line from the stern, coming ashore! Well caught. Anthony, of course you're... We're going to get the captains uh, to talk to us uh, during the unloading here, so we'll find a bit more about how they went on the trip down. Here they are, just finally... Pulled up to do work as we really get serious about recreating this 150 years ago when the first cargoes came off onto the railway, which was built in 1851 and 1854. Travel between the river port of Goorwa and the great international seaport of Port Egyot. So that's another story. Port Egyot uh, was uh, surveyed and declared a port before the railway began. Uh, but within about a decade, they realised that it was maybe a trifle too dangerous. Many of you would have had a coffee or something to eat at the Flying Fish Cafe. It's named for one of the ships that was wrecked on the beach. In fact, it got its name. It was been a first Sunday of every month. We're doing uh, two 90 minute cruises. So if you're travelling up through the Riverland, drop into uh, Remark. It's always the first Sunday of the month. On the side, and, uh, you being prepared at the moment for the steam winch to swing them over the wall. Paddle steamer industry, if you've just joined us, has oranges from Wakery and wool bales from Malang. And it has. Uh,